Hey everybody, this is Tanjo Beard. Um, I didn't quite do what I usually do on the monthly update video. So I am going to go through the um, change log, because that's what I usually do is kind of show what changed. Um, we're starting off in this trial chamber because it's a good spot to show what's wrong with stuff. Um, and we're on the default setting, which is medium, with the Patrick's on 28 pack. This is really noisy image. This is, this is not that great. Let's um, let's look at what I did this month. So I fixed smearing of reflection on glass. I did a big performance boost with the turbo mode on the stuff. This um, I did a few things for performance for January getting into February, which changed the um, the FPS we're getting pretty massively. Low is getting 276 FPS. Um, medium render low. This is the first one that does the off-screen voxel ray tracing. And then um, low hybrid lighting. Let's, let's start with this. Oh, my computer is taking forever to um, compile shaders. I think there's something wrong with it today. Um, so this is what this looks like on that fast version. This is using the fast light simulation mode. And it's doing, oh, I got a bug there. And it's doing um, very low sample counts. So in dark, dynamically lit environments like this, we can have some problems. But you can see the entities have absolutely no noise now. That was one of the um, things I did. And you can also default the terrain to use that sort of lighting. Um, I'll show that as well if you don't like the noise. And it still looks pretty 3D. It just doesn't get as crazy of a... Um, I mean, whatever, whatever you want to call it, like ray tracing or path tracing or whatever. So this is the um, render low. And right now we're getting 113 on that. Let's see. That's close. Okay, so the medium version, it is um, doing more samples, I think. Or what's it doing? I think it's actually just doing um, a second bounce of light as well. But it's still going to have some noise in environments like this. We'll show outside too. It won't be as noisy outside, especially in like the sunlight. Um, and this is doing also the turbo fast light sim mode. Um, you'll see the difference in some materials. So let's switch the resource pack. It's, it's noticeable on this one. On most um, textures, you wouldn't really notice it as much, but you, you will on these. These are rough, shiny reflections. So this is with like the turbo mode. Um, I'm going to turn on the recursive glints and all that too. I don't think those are on because that might show the difference even more. There we are here. And then that's... Um, Let's look specifically at like the way there's both, I don't know, there's a lot of white play going on. We'll see if we can spot a difference. Um, the high version of hybrid lighting, which is a pretty substantial FPS drop. So it is without the recursive reflections. Um, I honestly don't see too much difference between the other version. Let's put the recursive ones back on. Um, there's some places you'll notice the difference. I like that look. Um, but, um, I'm not really seeing a difference in the materials that much that I can tell at this moment. So we will, I will try to show the difference between um, medium and high outside. Um, Cause I know there's one spot in one dungeon that at least shows it off the material difference and why you still want to use the high, which does not use the fast light simulation mode. The fast simulation mode, like I said, there is like 80% more FPS. <laughs> so that's part of what I did for performance this month. 
Okay, so here to show the difference between like the fast light sim and the other way. I'm looking for like the subtlety of the lighting on like wood surfaces. Um, and you can see they look kind of like a little, a little bit like they're not quite wood. Um, so let's switch this back. I see here there's just like a lot more subtlety um, <coughs> with the way it's doing the, uh, the materials. The lighting isn't, I can see here especially. Um, it up. Let's um, look at some of the other stuff I'm doing for performance. Ooh. Um, and that's, I made some sky options. Before we were just running the immersive um, sky which is the one with all the fog and the auroras and all the fancy stuff. Um, but now I put the option, since the sky is the other main performance hitter, um, to change cloud styles. So instead of just having five, this is four, which is pretty much the Pegasus sky. And you could also change the sky behind the clouds. So if you want it to be just like vanilla, because that gives you the biome colors, like this one has the, um, like this one has, you can see like the orange kind of fog. If I want a swamp, it would be kind of greenish. I go over somewhere else that's gonna, gonna change. Like that's a biome based. So changing that sky behind the clouds, you can choose whether or not to have those biome colors or not, or to have a more centered sunset. Um, I don't know if Iris updated to have that biome color be separate from the sun color in the fog. That's something that was going to maybe happen. Um, until it does, the uh, you're kind of picking them as a group. That you can either have that vanilla based biome and sunset or do like a sunset that's more um like can done by me um so this four five we're used to what else we got here we got um the old ones like these were the ones that i originally first made with the shader they're just kind of overcast a lot of the time um but this ones that look really nice <laughs> And then there's the ones from the tutorial that I made that are insanely fast clouds. So these really fast ones are how, um, part of how the low preset gets 276 FPS is these clouds are really fast. Um, while we're here, let's see, I'll show the other ones again. It's five, I didn't show those, I think, right now. But here we are. So this is the uh, the old ones, which are the immersive volume. Um, they have all the fancy fog and the, the underwater volume metrics with like algae and silt and all that that I showed in the last video and the, the new fog. Um, someone else had asked about retro shaders. So I'm going to show the CRT shader because I got that working this month also. And all these options should work except for the bulge. It was going to have that kind of a screen bulge and that just doesn't work good. What I fixed about this is it actually um, properly downscales the image before applying the filter now. Um, I don't know why you want to play with this unless you just want the look for certain things or to get like a body cam type of thing. I mean, once you're on it for a minute, you kind of get used to it and you feel like you're playing. So I'm hoping it's got that nice little kind of VCR type of RCA cable burn and stuff. And the um, the resolution is adjustable. Let's see. Here we are at 480p. I guess I can make it a 480i version too, where it's like there's different pixels every frame, but that might be a bit much for accuracy and just make it look bad. Um, yeah, so this is here. And let's see what else we were going to look at. Oh, I wanted to, um, I wanted to show underground somewhere. In like a dynamically lit area. Um, man, that's that's got a vibe, doesn't it? Now in a dungeon with a CRT filter. 
Depending on your compression, that might show up. Don't put it real low again. There we go. <laughs> you know, I almost don't notice that it's that low of resolution once you've got... I mean, that's how CRT filters work. Um, so here's another spot, though. Let's look at the, the difference on um, material blending and um, a noise-free option for lighting. So again, this is the medium. Here's on uh, high, which has, like I said, better materials, but it's pretty close though. So I think that, that I did a pretty good job of, and you get that boost out of it. Let's see what low looks like without doing the light simulation. And then let's look at something I might make a new preset out of. So this is on low. Let's see if I broke low. It looks like I broke low. Um, so let's make a modified version of it. Okay, so here we are on um, version of low, and this sort of lighting will have absolutely no noise at all. Um, it still has reflections. Uh, it does not do rough reflections. Let's bring an enemy in here. And it uses the, um, the LPV, or the white propagation volume, to do the Directional shading with noise. So this is um, an option if you just really don't like the noise. Like this is what you can have the, the shader look like with no noise at all. And, uh, still have like decent directionality in the lighting from uh, black lights and stuff. I like it. They don't catch shadows on that. This might end up being the new medium, maybe? I don't know. 100. That's not bad. Oh, suffering there. And there's, um... All sorts of ways you could change this stuff if you're using it in the hybrid lighting and not as a primary like this. Um, that you could change if you want to boost the lighting on the mobs, which makes it work better. Um, and the sampling method, there's some ways to get more or less drama out of the uh, the normals. Um, let's look at a cave too. To see like the difference on lighting and how noisy it could be. So here's um some cave lit by just glowstone. Let's go deeper. As you can see, there's no noise at all in the image. We still have directional lighting. Um, it's colored. So this is kind of like a low or medium could be if you. And let's stuck it together, and then let's look at this with the uh, so then here it is using the light simulation instead, and you could see um, how much different that lighting is. But we do have um, lots of noise and some stuff, especially just cobwebs, and probably just everywhere in the picture. You see, there's there's noise. Oh, we've got a glow squid over here. inside this wall, I think. Yeah, so the, the the hybrid lighting does do some stuff like that where it comes through walls sometimes. He must be right up in there. That, that's what that is. Yeah, he's like stuck in the wall. That's why he's coming through. 
Um, yeah, so this is the light simulation stuff hybridized with that flood for lighting. Um, and then the render presets are pretty much just going in and turning down all the vanilla lighting um, so you get just the light simulation. So this is the most dramatic of the lighting, um, but the noisiest. So just to show that, that comparison right here next to the other stuff. Um, so there, there is a noise free option and there's heavy light sim option. And this will get a lot better um, because I'm working on denoising stuff and different um, data structures, which gets us into, gets us into some of the other stuff. What's I do here? Fix some random stuff. Um, I said add more clouds. And I can add even more clouds in really easily now. I do still want to redo the fog, like I said in the last video. Um, there's a lot of focus on performance. A 3D gas trader actually works. This is something cool. I um I talked about this, but I didn't show it on here. Um, this is light glints bouncing off of metals, not just from the sun, but from every from literally everything, like every pixel and from light sources. So light bouncing from a torch off of this metal. Down here you can see like the shape of the light onto the floor. And some of it hits this metal and bounces up onto the wall. Um, that's kind of insane. <laughs> and here it is doing even more. Like here's the, the trace of it. Uh, where it's going off at least how many surfaces is this? One, two, three. Going through this glass, which is running way too dark. And then you can see it's casting a shadow um, onto this. One, two, three, I guess fourth or fifth surface. I'm really excited about this because I like glints and stuff like that. Um, but this is something that isn't gameplay ready yet. I have to finish all these data structures I'm doing to make this work real time. It'll do like this first glint off of there real time when this option's on, but it won't do all the other stuff. Like it takes a second, but it'll be real time when I finish. Um, the same thing I'm doing with the Directional lighting from the light propagation volume for mobs is also on the way from plants. And that's what I got done, I guess, for, um, to kind of tie up the video. That's, that was everything else leading up to, um, like that was done in January for February. Um, so, I guess that's about that. Hope everybody's having a good week. And I don't know if I got into like what I want to do next at all in that last one. Um, but I am doing stuff with physics. I'm doing stuff with like both volumetric physics and with like the grass physics. Well, I'm going to add in sand and mud and snow and a bunch of stuff.